I am back again. The last video cut off again. This doesn't happen until I start doing these videos. But we're going to work it out. Alright, so I'm going to start over with this story because the video cut off in the middle of it. Um, so the divine, divine male operating in low vibration in a committed relationship with the divine female operating in high vibration. The divine male is operating in low vibrational energy, leaving the door open for karmic female to slither back in because he didn't completely close the door and learn his lesson the first time. And wants his cake and other cookies too to feed his demons. So, the karmic female is angry, jealous, and very envious because the divine male she wanted to be in a committed relationship with chose his divine counterpart over her. The uh, karmic female's intuition is blocked, so she doesn't understand divine male is not meant for her. So out of envy and jealousy, the karmic female operating in low vibrational energy decides to do black magic on the divine male and divine female to get him back. She goes to a black magic witchcraft worker to do black magic on a divine union to break them up. The black magic witchcraft worker warns the karmic female that they cannot do black magic on this couple because they are a divine union predestined by God. And they especially can't do it on the divine female because she's God's anointed and a chosen one. They warned her the divine female has the Holy Spirit, a host of archangels, guardian angels and ancestors divinely guiding and protecting her and that you don't want to piss them off. So whatever you try to do is not going to work on this divine female. It might be able to work on the divine male. So we cannot perform this what you're trying to do. So the, the, the karmic female did not heed to the warning and still went and found some information on it to do it herself through dark, seductive sex magic and emotional manipulation by Jezebel spirit for money, selfish, selfishness, envious and jealous reasons. So since the divine male was operating in low vibrational energy and not wanting to change, always in constant indecision concerning his relationship with his divine female because his intuition was blocked. The dark seduct seductive ma sex magic and emotional manipulation um, worked on him because he didn't completely close the door and started cheating on his divine female with this karmic female. So he was lured away by the lust of his flesh and the, and the enemy of his soul. The karmic female was so envious and jealous that she was willing to give him an incurable, sexually transmitted disease and a karmic baby to try to trap him to be with only her. So the, the black magic she tried to do on the divine feminine was to um, block her creativity and to cause her to lose money and try to block the divine inheritance that God had set for her before the foundation of the earth. All right. So since So the karmic female was so envious that this is like a situation out of a lifetime movie, like fatal attraction type of situation, type of energy. 
So since both of them were operating in low vibrational energy, they were in a stuck energy financially, barely making it. No creativity or financial manifestations. The divine female was operating in high vibrational energy, very creative, optimistic, positive, harming no one, loving, nurturing, healing, energy, caring, and financially stable. The divine male started stealing the divine female good energy through her root chakra. That's your root chakra is your life force, your security, your focus, your presence, um, your confidence, your vitality, healthy, survival instincts. So he started stealing this energy by having sex with his divine female and taking it back to the karmic female to feed their demons draining the divine female. The divine female has a connection to spirit and an open portal to receive intuitive downloads and messages. God was telling and showing the divine female things about the divine male that he was cheating, but the divine female trusted the divine male that he was not a cheater. And this was a relationship God told her to be in, so she didn't press the issue. She mentioned to the divine male some things God was telling her concerning his ways and him not wanting to change and grow so the relationship could progress into God's plan and purpose for their divine union but the divine male just blew it off and didn't heed to the warning. So the karmic female gave the divine male an ultimatum to stop hiding their secret relationship or don't deal with her at all while he was under the influence of her dark emotional manipulation, sex magic. Okay, so then the devil created a conflicting situation to give the divine male an open door to leave his divine female and move in with the karmic female. He fell for this, he fell for the devil's trick and trap. They both lied, the divine male and the karmic female, and tried to make everyone believe there was nothing going on between the two of them and the divine male was only trying to avoid a conflict somewhere else. But God said, nah, player, we see you, we know what you was doing. You was playing in this scheming and lying the whole time. Um, so the divine male was cold, cold, cold towards his divine female and thought he was going to be able to live with the karmic female at night and still keep his divine female also and be with her in the daytime. This is a very, very, uh, very malicious betrayal. So he, he didn't really believe that the female, the divine female was very intuitive and anointed chosen one with an open, clear channel to the spirit of God. So God revealed everything to the divine female concerning him and the karmic. The divine female completely withdrew her energy from the situation. And as soon as she did, the black magic um, witchcraft that the karmic did backfired and put both of them in a karmic storm, receiving karma and judgment. For, that, for their actions to, toward the divine female. Their motives, masks, secrets, and lies were exposed. Jobs, money, and peace of mind was lost. Um, having a dark night of the soul and experiencing all of the symptoms of that, but trying to hide it from everyone else. So the whole month of July, they have been regretful, in deep regret, sadness, depressed, 
stressing, arguing with each other, and heartbroken. So the song that came up um, that I channeled through the Holy Spirit was Do Walk by Lauren Hill. How you gonna win when you ain't right within? Come again, go and listen to that song. All right, so the a guarding angel of the divine female was heavenly, heavenly hovering over a divine male um, and unblocked his intuition and showed him he was tricked and revealed to him all the lies that the karmic um, told to him to leave his divine female and that he has to leave there. All right. So everything and everybody has is being exposed. Um, the divine male, female in high vibrational 5D energy ascended to a, another level spiritually and also financially. And the karmic is over there stressing, about to lose her mind, but acting cool and confident is all fake and phony. So God is telling us, warning always comes before destruction. People think God don't see them what they doing, but God see everything. His eyes is always watching everything that you do. 24 hours, 365, watching. So, and nobody is above the law. Like, whatever you reap, you will, whatever you sow, you will reap it. Nobody is above the law. So, stop. All right, so Proverbs 16, 18 says, Pride goeth before destruction, and a haughty spirit before a fall. Um, Psalms 105.15 Do not touch my anointed ones, and do my prophets no harm. You can't take a cup that was predestined for someone else. You can't take or give a cup to someone else that was predestined by God for someone else. God is offended that you threw away the blessing and the gift he gave to help you and heal you with real love and prosper like he or she was nothing. He says, no, please listen carefully. God says that some of these people will repent and apologize, but some of them will die. Um, because the ones that are gonna die, they are still, even though they've been found out, the, the divine male has found out everything that the divine, uh, the karmic female has done, the witchcraft, the, the money schemes, the sold them a dream and they bought it. The, all the lies have re been revealed and they're removing themselves from that situation. They're still going to, the karmics are still going to try to win at all costs and that's not going to end well for them. So God is telling you all, um, if you know somebody in this situation or if you dealt with the situation yourself and you know somebody is doing witchcraft on a divine masculine or a divine female, um, he's saying he's giving you a duty to assist, to warn them, to back down, to stand down, because it's not going to end well. So they need to just go ahead and stop, and this person is going to receive heavy, heavy karma and judgment. Like, they have uh, pretty much cursed their generations, the generations after them. Like, people do stuff and they don't think about it before they do it. Like, so if the witchcraft that you try to do on a divine female or a divine masculine backfires, that energy has to go somewhere, so it's returned to sender. So if you're a person who already didn't have nothing, 
and you try to do witchcraft on somebody to take what they have or to block their creativity, block their finances, and it backfires, it's going back to you. So if you already didn't have nothing, you about to lose everything. So please understand who you dealing with and who's you're dealing with. We belong to God, chosen ones. We are divinely guided and protected. You cannot do anything. You can do you can try to do evil towards us, but it will not prosper. No weapon formed against me or my viewers shall prosper in Jesus name. So God has given you a duty to assist, to warn them, to back down, to stand down, to just chill out. This you lost. This person is not for you. Stop it. So, and y'all gonna know who it is um, in the next coming weeks. There's about to be another wave of a uh, huge wave of people being exposed left and right um, and receiving karma and judgment. So whoever is losing everything, losing their minds and just going crazy, losing everything, homes, jobs, cars, everything, you're going to know who it is that was doing witchcraft on people. So, you know, just because these people are your family members, your friends, your, um, you know, people you've known for a long time, have history with, that don't mean nothing. You need to test the spirits and deal and seek God first before you deal with people, places, and things. So be aware and warned. All right. So then I heard the song again, Juicy by Notorious B.I.G. If you don't know, now you know. Listen to that song. So God is saying that a lot of us was in a uh, relationship with Lazarus, straight sleep, slobbering and snoring. It's time to wake up. All right. And so with all with all that being said, it's it's you know going through that is 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 a challenge. It's it's rough. It's it's something that is. Um, you know, catching a lot of people off guard, like they was very blind spotted, didn't see that coming at all. Um, you know, was trusting people that they love and, you know, believing what they say. But this is um, definitely a lesson to, for you to, no matter how somebody is acting or what they're saying, you know, and no matter how much you love them and care for them and you know, have trust the faith in them. If God is telling you something about them, you better believe him. Yes, God don't lie. He shows us things all the time, but we ignore the red flags. Um, you know what I'm saying? Make excuses for people. No, no, no more. If God tells you something about a person, you better to listen and back up, redraw your energy if you need to. So with all that being said, God is telling, talking to his chosen ones and telling you that he does not want you to be bitter um, concerning these situations. Um, but he actually wants you to be better. And he wants me to tell you the, the scripture, Ecclesiastes 3.15. I'm actually going to read this three times, so listen carefully. What is has already been and what will be has been before God seeks justice for the persecuted again what is has already been and what will be has been before God seeks justice for the persecuted again what is has already been and what will be has been before. God seeks justice for the persecuted. So he wants us to perceive and receive what happened in the spirit realm when all of this took place. Um, second, second Corinthians 10 through four. I'm sorry, 
10, chapter 10, verse 4 through 6. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds, casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the ob obedience of Christ and being ready to punish all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. So God is saying, whoever let the devil use them to try to take your cup did you a favor and gave you a break from your high vibe, good light energy being stolen by those energy vampires to use it all for yourself in a sacred place where you cry out to God and worship under the shadow of the Almighty to ascend higher and cross over into your promised land. So the devil um, thought that he was, you know, coming against you and getting you down, but actually he gave you a break so that they couldn't steal your energy anymore and, you know, slow down your creativity and what you were trying to do and what you have going on. So they, it actually gave you a break to, be, to ascend higher and also to be, um, become more powerful in who you are and also in your purpose. So God says, um, Psalms 91, and a lot of us know this, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shouting of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him I will trust. Surely he shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the Northian pestilence. He will cover me with his feathers and under his wings I will take refuge. His shield belt shall be my shield his truth shall be my shield and buckler. And then a little bit down the, down the chapter, it says, a thousand may fall at my side, at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. So you about to see who was being wicked towards you and towards other people. And read that whole Psalms of 91 and also pray it too for your protection. So God is telling you, you are divinely guided and very protected. So you have nothing to worry about, nothing to fear, nothing to be concerned about. Um, so the enemy didn't hurt us. He actually helped us catapult into our destiny and purpose in the promised land blessing. What the enemy meant for evil, God turned it around for our good. And so in Matthew 3, 11 and 12, it says, The wheat when first thrashed lies in one heap with chaff and straw and is after renowned to separate it. So the faithful are mixed up in one church with the unfaithful. But persecution comes as a wind. that tossed by Christ's fan, those whose hearts were separate, who were separate before, and may also now be separated in one place. So what God did was pretty much separated the wheat from the, fa from the tear, the faithful from the unfaithful. Um, so everybody who didn't have a strong foundation in God and their heart wasn't rooted in real love, it caused a separation. So everyone's heart was exposed and made aware of who they truly are in their core knowing at that moment. Some passed the test and graduated and some failed and had to repeat a karmic lesson. 
of real love again. So you gotta repeat this this lesson. Repeat a cycle. Um, it was the great awakening and the great falling away. All right. So so in the previous messages um, that God has given us, it's, it was saying that pretty much you can't stuff can't be swept under the carpet no more for where he's taking you he's doing a new thing so old things must pass away um in order for you to get these promised land blessings so we're the chosen generation and our ancestors before us knew that we would be the chosen generations to break these cycles and to break these curses off our generation because we can't to go into what God is where God is taking us now you can't do things like how they were done before you can't keep repeating all these negative patterns keep you know saying have have having um, the generations after us keep repeating all this negative and this foolishness like we have to evolve there's a evolution going on right now so we have to revolve evolve into the new that God has taken us in and leaving the old behind. So the promised land blessings are at stake here. Like it's like a billion dollars being in the elevator. It's serious. Like and the devil does not want people to cross over into that because it's gonna change our generation forever. So yeah it's serious so make sure you um listen to god tell him uh, what he's telling you seek him before you do anything before you deal with people places and things he need he he's gonna have to lead and guide you and direct your path through this because it's gonna it's about to get real 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 for a lot of people and especially with the economy and um, the inflation, the gas prices, food prices, housing, everything. You need to be led by God so he can direct your path. Um, so, God wants you to, um, this is going to change and e evolve our generations. Like the whole fi family dy dy dynamic is gonna completely change it. And because our families, we need to operate in real love. Like our marriages need to be about real love, be focused. Um, our kids need to see real love being displayed in their parents and moving forward. Um, so in Matthew, um, G God said, Matthew chapter four, um, after Jesus was baptized, the Holy Spirit came on him and revealed to him who he was, um, his purpose and his divine mission, his divine mission. And a lot of that is happening to us now. Um, God is revealing to you who you are and who you are. So to go out into the world and give and serve them with your gifts that he has placed inside of you. Like the time is now. I, you're, you may be afraid, but it's time. Um, it might be scary, but also exciting. It's time for you to serve the world with the gifts and be that light worker that he has called you to, to be, to a giver of light. Um, so it wasn't until to, to God re revealed to Jesus who he was that the devil came to him to try to tempt him and lead him astray and and this is what happened but jesus passes passed his test the first adam didn't so what ha was happening is um the snake in the garden planted a seed in eve's subconscious um to try to to trick her in, in believing that God was trying to keep something from them that he hadn't already given them everything but he did 
but the serpent, the snake, these snakes, they plant seeds in your mind and just in your subconscious, in your heart, and to make you believe that you're not who God says you are, or you don't have what God says you have. And they let the devil trick them. They was lured away by the lust of their their flesh of wanting more. Oh, there's maybe something more and more, more opportunities, more options that would be better for me. So got lured away by the lust of their flesh and pretty much got kicked out of the garden because then they realized that they was naked and they was ashamed that, you know, it, the act they had um, committed. They was depressed and stressed and worrying and about to lose their mind. And God was like, looking for them in the cool of the day, you know, to come commune with them. And Adam was like, we hid from you because we was naked. And God was like, who told you you was naked? You must have ate from that tree of the knowledge of good and evil. You let the serpent plant a seed in your subconscious. And so he made clothes for them to cover them. And I had never, um, I read that story a lot, but that's the part that stuck out to me that God accommodated them for how they was thinking and feeling. He made clothes for them to cover them because they believed that they was naked. So they got kicked out of the garden, kicked out of the promised land, kicked out of the presence of God. You cannot make it without the presence of God. You can't make it with his, with your intuition being blocked. So yeah, good luck with that. Um, so yeah, so God wants to reiterate that do not be bitter if this is something that has happened to you or is happening to you right now or will happen to you in the coming weeks. Um, to remember the promise of Roman, Romans 8.28. Two things. Um, and we know that all things work together for the good of those of them that love God, number one, and who are called according to his purpose. So operating your purpose, your divine mission, you will be divinely guided and protected. Because um, Proverbs 21, I'm sorry, Proverbs 19 and verse 21 says, many are the plans in, the, in a person's heart, but the Lord's purpose, the Lord's purpose, it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. So you can have all these plans and schemes and tricks and what you gonna lies and deceitfulness and whatever, what you gonna try to do to somebody or what you think you gonna do your own thing. Many are the plans in a person's heart but the Lord's purpose prevails and that's it. So with all that being said, God wants you to know to stand firm in your power no one, no devil in hell, walking, crawling, living, whoever, no one can stop or block God's plan for your life. And they, and some of, some of them will die trying. So be still and know that he is God. And then I heard the song by Tupac, I Ain't Mad At You. Got nothing for, but love for you, do your thing. So go and listen to that song. And God also gave me some, and then also the other song that I heard um, while he was giving me this message is, called It's Okay to Be Black, and that's by Jack Ross, J-A-C Ross, R-O-S-S. -S. So go look and listen to that song as well. So God wants to congratulate um, you all, the ones who sought God and concerning people, places, and things. Um, 
congratulations, you passed the test and you um, are in your promised land, you crossed over. He's saying, congratulations for standing firm in your power, pulling from your inner strength, knowing when to walk away and remove your energy. Um, congratulations for controlling your emotions. When they went low, you went high and ascended. Um, you remain operating in agape love. He says, congratulations. You let the Lord fight, the Lord of hosts fight your battle. The Lord mighty in battle. And that's in Psalms 24. Um, he says that there is about to be massive, unstoppable changes and shifts are happening for our good. And there will be no rest for the wicked. We're at um, the cycle. We're ended. We have ended a cycle, and we are in powerful new beginnings. There's about to be a wealth transfer. Um, fated situations and events are happening, and the chosen ones, the chosen ones that stayed on their path, will still receive all the blessings God has promised us, even if God has to move some things and people around. He is a God of promises. He keeps his promises. And so this is God's advice for us moving forward. He says, keep moving forward in what he told you to do concerning your purpose. For some, it will not make sense to others, but it doesn't have to make sense to them. It wasn't a conference call. He told you what to do and how to do it. So be obedient, operating your purpose. And number one, he wants you to continue healing your hearts. So it'll be light when you weigh it against a feather. Um, listen to heart chakra healing meditation so you can remain operating in unconditional love, compassion, empathic, emotionally balanced, serenity, light, gratitude, forgiveness, center your awareness for transformation, change, and keep your energy flowing. Uh, number two, he wants you to do uh, meditations concerning your solar plexus chakra. And this is where your self-esteem is, your clarity of judgment, your identity, self-discipline, uh, personal power, willpower, strength, self-assurance and leadership and he's saying let go give it to him um, release it surrender freedom clarity dropping your burdens letting go of control of the situation what will be will be so stay in flow and accept it all and he has three affirmations for us. The first one is that he wants you to say daily or whenever you feel you need to say it. Um, when I lean toward love, I am led. The second one is obstacles are detours in the right direction. And the third one is the universe slash God has my back. Don't worry, you are divinely guided and protected. And there's um, a lot of songs that I channeled um, from the Holy Spirit, and I will list them down in the comment, in the not in the comments, but in this in the description box. And God wants you to go and listen to all those songs. And for the religious people, this this will not be for you, because God uses music and song and singing to for healing, to heal us. He created these people and gave them the gifts to sing these songs to be able to help us along our journey. Um, so God is saying that the songs that I'm gonna list down in the description box will be, um, this is for the divine, the chosen ones and the divine unions only. Um, the songs will be of what your you and your person are thinking and feeling about each other. Um, you are in separation 
a lot of you are in separation and a lot of them a lot of them have not reached out because they are going through so much karma and judgment right now for their actions towards you that they can't they just can't talk right now um, or they're still too proud and stubborn and God is teaching them a lesson humbling them and healing them and he's saying to pray for them pray for your divine masculines your divine fem feminines that have been operating in low vibration um, that he's you know teaching a lesson and and healing them and humbling them and what's meant to be if a divine union is meant to be by God it will be so don't you concern yourself with that let God handle it let it unfold and you go ahead and go and do operating your purpose and do what God has set for you to do because a lot of times um, when we're unequally yoked spiritually um, God has to separate us to for so we can carry out our own our separate divine missions until he brings us back together and then we will both, both be spiritually yoked equally yoked and then we can finish the rest of our journey together in healing and unconditional love in our relationship with each other so that is what's happening so if it's meant to be no devil in hell walking crawling slithering whatever can stop this divine union so be encouraged and pray for them and that's all i have for us today and i will um a lot of good things have changed in my life got a lot of good shifts so um i will have more time to do more messages more frequently so i'm looking forward to that and until next time be blessed seek god before you deal with people places and things and operate in your, your purpose. It's your time. Go for it.